Now to what's being called the worst outbreak of Legionnaire's disease in New York history. At least seven people have died. More than 80 others are being treated. And experts say Legionnaire's is a far bigger threat than most people realize, with up to 18,000 people hospitalized in this country every year. We get our report from NBC's Ann Thompson. These box-like cooling towers on some New York City rooftops are the source of the deadly outbreak of Legionnaire's disease and growing fears. We're not at the level of panic, but anxiety is really high. Annie Minguez's cousin is one of 86 stricken. He survived. We are also going through our own process of having almost lost him. This outbreak, part of an increasing trend in Legionnaires. The CDC says the number of cases in this country jumped more than 200 percent from 2000 to 2009. The Legionella bacteria occur naturally, usually in warm water that's found in hot tubs, hot water tanks, large plumbing systems, and air conditioning cooling towers, where water is passed over a heat exchanger, putting a mist in the air that can carry the disease away from the building. How do you get it? It's as easy as breathing in air, containing microscopic water droplets carrying the disease that inflame the lungs. Most residents are not at risk of contracting Legionnaire's disease. It is not spread from person to person. Today, New York Mayor Bill de Blasio called for citywide inspections of cooling towers. What can we do to stop this increase in Legionnaire's disease? The way to stop Legionnaire's disease is to test for Legionella bacteria in water systems. So the proposal by Mayor de Blasio to test cooling towers will do, go a long way to preventing Legionnaire's disease. The contaminated cooling towers are now clean, but city officials warn the numbers of people infected could still climb. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.